Really impressive, the first photos of planet Venus. Be welcome to this new documentary, if it is the first time, I introduce myself, I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. Where we will know the wonderful and historical real images of the planet Venus, with important information of what was discovered when reaching the surface of the planet Venus, for the first time. Along with the first analyzes and contributions of the James Webb Space Telescope and the possibilities of life on that peculiar planet of our solar system. Join me, thanks to applied technology, in this new educational adventure. From the perspective, of an engineer. Let's start. These are the first and only photographs taken directly from the surface of the planet Venus, a planet to which it was possible to send a probe that was able to record these incredible images of Venus, the second planet after the Sun in order of proximity and the third in terms of size in ascending order after Mercury and Mars. Venus is named after Venus, the Roman goddess of love, in ancient Greece, Aphrodite. The planet Venus can be seen from our planet Earth in a clear night sky with the naked eye. The planet Venus is a rocky and terrestrial type planet, which although it is very similar to the planet Earth in terms of size, mass and composition, is very different in thermal and atmospheric matters, the average temperature of Venus is 463.85 degrees Celsius, a temperature that is incompatible with life as we know it, but in which some form of life is not ruled out according to some scientific analyzes that we will analyze and show below, along with all the real and unique images of the fascinating planet Venus that we will show. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. For decades, scientific evidence has suggested that Venus could support life in its upper atmosphere, where temperatures and pressures are benign despite the hellish environment below. The internal conditions of the planet Venus are not compatible with life as we know it, together with its extreme temperature, the atmospheric pressure on Venus is 90 times higher than that of our planet Earth, it is, therefore, the highest atmospheric pressure of all the rocky planets in the solar system, something like diving to a depth of 1 km below the ocean surface, and its clouds are mostly made up of sulfuric acid. Venus has a white-slash-yellowish color due to its atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide, CO2, hydrogen sulfide, H2S, and nitrogen, N2. And despite its extreme conditions, multiple scientific observations have detected the presence of phosphine, a colorless, flammable gas that explodes at room temperature and smells of garlic or rotten fish. Generating great intrigue in the scientific community because it cannot be explained what could produce a trace of phosphine, unless there is something living in the pale clouds of the planet. The presence of phosphine is considered a biomarker, a molecule related to biological processes, because it is difficult to create from non-living processes thought to occur on rocky worlds. If something were alive in the clouds of Venus, it could release phosphine, this biomarker being one of the many secrets that science must explain and unveil about the planet Venus. Some secrets that the James Webb Space Telescope is able to clarify because the James Webb can detect phosphine gas in exoplanets and the planet Venus is one of its objectives, for which it will have to scan for dozens of hours in search of water and methane at the same time. Time it searches for phosphine, allowing it to search for two other potential biosignatures. Preliminary data from James Webb have already allowed some of these not-so-detailed initial records, as published by the US Space Agency, NASA in this release with this spectroscopic analysis of the planets Mars, Earth, and Venus, comparing the presence of water, ozone and carbon dioxide. By looking at these only existing photos of the surface of Venus, we can get an idea of what Venus really looks like. With these exciting photos taken on October 22, 1975 after the landing of the Russian Venera 9 spacecraft in the northern hemisphere of the planet Venus. Published by the Russian Federal Space Agency in this release. The Venera 9 spacecraft was launched on June 8, 1975. After taking off from Earth, Venera 9 traveled 136 days through 300 million kilometers to get into orbit with the planet and begin the descent with a special protector against the heat that I had however, after landing on the surface, 
it transmitted data for 53 minutes before melting and losing connection to Earth. This Soviet space probe was the first spacecraft to send back to Earth an image of the surface of another planet. These original images of Venus released by the Russian Space Agency were processed by the American researcher Don P. Mitchell, who described it as a perspective image to which he assigned color. The Venera 9 probe's lander captured interesting objects on the planet's surface that fell off the probe like this fixation element. Brown University, USA, collaborated closely with the Venus program of the Soviet Union. Years later, some of the raw digital data from Venera 9 was found at Brown University, including the first full panoramic sweep with periodic telemetry bursts, and a second version in which some telemetry bursts were replaced with sections of the second panorama of Venus. It is very important to recognize and value the efforts of the American researcher Don P. Mitchell who has dedicated himself to processing the original images applying recent technology to recreate the appearance of the Venusian surface, impressive restored photos that are the ones we have been posting. We take the opportunity to congratulate Don Mitchell, here we can see his blog which I will leave the link in the description of the video so that you can follow and support the great recording he does. We will be attentive to the findings of the James Webb Space Telescope when it is time to carefully observe the planet Venus and to the new missions and probes that focus their efforts on this fascinating planet. What do you think of the planet Venus, do you think there is life on it? I will read your always interesting reflections and opinions in the comments of this video, remember that I always read them, that's where we are.